Hi everyone, welcome back to Cybersecurity TV. Uh, this week we're going to continue our discussion on the XSS filter bypass. And in this episode we're going to talk about how do we bypass the quotation escaping uh, performed by the XSS filters in the application. So oftentimes what happens is uh, probably it's an HTML tag or sometimes injection points are inside the coded strings. So commonly a filter uh, places the backslash character uh, before the codes to escape that kind of character. So uh, generally we use in the payload uh, uh, single code to terminate the string and then start our payload, but then that's been escaped by the filters and then how do we bypass it? It's also required to escape the backslash to avoid bypasses. Uh, for example, let us suppose we can control the value of uh, cybersecurity TV, right? So the input or, or value to this name parameter comes from the user. Uh, but you cannot add additional codes to terminate the string and then add your own payload because that's been escaped by the by the application. So what the payload that we can use is this one, uh, which is very straightforward. Like you insert the backslash and then code and then of course your payload. Now what will turn out to be in the uh, transform payload uh, in the application side, it's going to escape the backslash with another backslash. And then it's going to keep the single code as is. That will terminate the string uh, and then it, then it will add a new string which is alert1 colon and forward slash forward slash right to comment out rest of the things. So the important thing uh, to uh, focus here was uh, when when the application is escaping the single code and then it's also escaping the backslash, if we add additional backslash, then it's going to escape the backslash but not the single code. So that's how one way we can bypass it. Now there is other methods which you can use uh, to uh, do such bypass uh, and one of that method is string dot uh, from care code which allows us to generate string from a sequence of Unicode values. So, uh, for example, in the input, if we pass uh, 120, 115, 115, so these are the Unicode values uh, uh, to a string, whatever the string you want to form, but this represents XSS. And to find that, like, if you go to the Wikipedia on this link, uh, for example, let's go there and find out. So here, as we can see here, uh, let's scroll down. We are interested in the lowercase or uppercase. It doesn't matter, but in this instance, I've used the lowercase. So the X represents 120, and S represents 115, right? So that's what I've, do, uh, that's what I've done. I put 120, 115, 115. So you can use uh, this kind of GS method uh, to also... Um, uh, inject your payload and then uh, of course you can use dot source but here the space is allowed while if you use this particular then there is no space allowed with the base 36. Uh, another method uh, you can use is the unescape. Uh, so the unescape is function that computes a new string in which hexadecimal escape sequence are replaced with the character that it represents. So you, we could also play with the unescape method to escape a string generated. So for example, we could escape a string with dot source technique. So here you put your uh, like you know payload uh, encoded, and then you put the dot source. So of course uh, it's gonna re uh, replace with the. It's sort of like you know a decoding technique uh, rather than encoding. So you put the encoded string which to bypass the filter, and then it's decode and, and execute that. Uh, so even if uh, this feature has been deprecated, so if you look up uh, uh, on Mozilla or, or anywhere uh, on browser, this has been deprecated, but some browsers still supports it. So probably, uh, like you know, if this is the last resource, then you can also try. But the alternative is uh, we can use uh, other two methods. Uh, the one of them is decode UI, and then the other is decode URI component. So uh, uh, in this case, character needs to be URL encoded. So here, we have to URL encode the characters to avoid any URI malformed errors. And that's applicable for both the methods. 
Now this method could be useful if you inject into the script or event handler, but you cannot uh, use quotation mark because they are properly escaped. Right, so uh, you can use this in in the event handler and in many cases there is no way for you to bypass the uh, quotation mark. Of course, but don't don't forget that like you know this this will uh, return a string. So both of these matters, decode UI and decode URI component, uh, the return is strings. So it's not an execution. So what you would need is some sort of like an execution thing to trigger the code. Uh, similar to eval function that we had seen uh, for IE. So similarly, if you're using for Firefox or Chrome, you need to find that function and, and then execute the string or output of these uh, methods. Uh, that's it uh, for uh, this particular short uh, episode. Uh, uh, subscribe on our Facebook page uh, if you want to hear some uh, news and, and uh, like you know some interesting uh, articles on the cybersecurity. And um, also uh, subscribe to my channel uh, if you want to get the weekly updates. Uh, that's all. If you have any questions, feel free to comment uh, down in the comment box and uh, hit the like button if you like this video. I'll see you all next week.